One, if Please. you're a fan of River City, like me, you'll be looking forward to our next chat. Yes, Frank Gilhooley grew up in Lonehead, outside Edinburgh, never dreaming he would become an actor. Until fate intervened, that is. Fate and his performances in things like Still Game, Outlander and Guardians of the Galaxy. And he recently joined River City and has just finished filming the new Robert the Bruce film, which stars the one and only Chris Pine. And he joins us now. Not, not Chris. We've got Frank with us. Frank, <laughs> uh, good to see you. Thanks for that. Was a, that's a long that's list incredible. of achievements. Um, 2017 ended pretty well for you, though, didn't it? Absolutely. It was uh, fantastic. If it grows the way it's grown, it's uh, a good career to look forward to. So I came in it very late, at 30 years old. So uh, I'm enjoying every minute of it. Mm. Uh, Outlaw King and River City at the end of, of last year. Mm -hmm. So you well, filmed Outlaw King start. No, year. I'd already been signed up with River City, so uh, they were brilliant. They released me to go and work uh, ah. every time I needed on ah. Outlaw King. So they were really accommodating, and uh, I can't thank them enough. But uh, two exciting projects, but two very, very different yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Uh, styles of character. So, and two hugely different styles of filming. Mm. So what was it like working on Outlaw King? Obviously such a massive film, a big production. Did you get to meet Chris Pine or anything like that? Uh, aye, 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 absolutely. He's, uh, he's a, a right good lad. They all are, though. Everybody's yeah. characters, because they're all, they're all actors. Now. But he's, we had a really funny moment in rehearsals where uh, I had to come in with my kids, because we were going to a Celtic game at night. And they were, my three wee boys, they were all celtic up to the max. And <laughs> as we were in rehearsals, I had to go out to nip out for a pee, I think. And uh, he just said, hello, guys, how are you doing? And, and there was no answer. And it, I'm listening, and we're all kind of listening to that. And he went away to the toilet. And my wee boy, Brendy's like, he looks like Captain Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, really beautiful. That's but no, he's, he's, he's such a good guy and engaging Aww. with everybody as well. So Amazing, yeah. that's great to hear. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Um, now, we can't say too much about River City because nope. there's a, a dramatic storyline coming up, but are you enjoying being part of, of that as well? Absolutely. It's, it's so good to be part of it. The actors are fantastic. And I have to say, when you see people acting on a soap, it's a different level because you're getting scripts thrown at you. So you've really got to rise and prepare yourself and get ready for it. So mm. uh, everyone involved in it has just been so brilliant mm. to me. And I've, I've been pleased. I've, I've yeah. fitted in quite nicely. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, you said that you came to acting quite late at 30. How did you end up, I suppose, you said you kind of stumbled into it? I'd never, ever thought I'd been involved in acting, but uh, me and my wife were, were trying to have kids and it'd been going on for a few years and to get our heads out the sand, uh, we, she'd fallen pregnant and then we'd miscarried and it was hard. So we, I got involved in the theatre workshop in yeah. Edinburgh, ended up getting the lead role in their community play. That led, and that was just to get our heads in the right yeah. place. That led to me getting a part in a show in the Edinburgh Festival and then I got approached by an agent. Oh, wow. Uh, and I've, it's just like being on a carpet. It rolls out and it's nice and soft and it's getting softer every day. So That's incredible. And it's longer. I know. Yeah. And it's Amazing. a good message. You know, people, if, I think if you enjoy doing something, you'll be good yeah. at it. So people, it doesn't matter what age you are. Yeah, mm. have yeah. a passion. Great role in Still Game as well. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, we picked there. her there, yeah, and Bob. The <laughs> All right, that was a funny one, actually, because that was a. Uh, we were supposed to be in April, I think, and it was like 32 degrees because we filmed <laughs> it in the middle of summer. Uh, but it's. It's, that That's is another the project. I mean, I know. You know, it's special uh, to be part of Still yeah. Game. It's it's so funny, and it's one of these things when you get a call saying. Uh, they want to speak to you for this, you're like, yes! yes. Yeah, that's the one you, <laughs> that you kick great your moment. About. Yeah. I know, and as well as all this acting, you're, you're climbing Kilimanjaro, is that right? I well, a few years ago, I decided to do a lot more charity stuff because if the arrows in your life are always pointing at you, I don't think you'll succeed so well. So I cycled across Western Australia, oh my goodness. which was unbelievable because clearly I'm a cyclist. <laughs> and, uh, but I'm going to do, it's actually early next year, but we've got a whole year of preparation. So we're going up to uh, climb Kilimanjaro, which Oof. is nearly 20,000 feet. It's, uh, it'll be great. It's to my half, certainly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now we need to talk about um, Scotland's ongoing saga with a film studio. Will it yes. ever happen? What's happening? You're from Lonehead, which is just outside Edinburgh, right next door to the proposed Pentland, Pentland Studios. Um, how much do we need a, a studio like that in Scotland? Huge. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's going ahead, it's definitely going ahead, and I think it's starting very shortly, the next couple of months. Uh, I'm on their email set up, so I get ah. stuff sent to me, but every actor, everybody involved in it is desperate for this to happen, because we need a studio. Scotland's got such a great place, mm -hmm. but such a, su such a dearth of studio yeah. and equipment, and all. so it's going to be a central hub. Uh, biggest purpose-built studio ever in Britain. That wow. would be incredible, wouldn't we it? We could get some of the blockbusters here as well. The big definitely. Yeah. Um, I think they'll we'll flock here. There's, yeah. there's such a waiting list in London. Yeah. We'll see you in Starring exactly. Roles. I can't wait. Thanks. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Great to see Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Now, how's this for us?